Hello there. It's 2020. <laughs> I'm told I'm old if I dab. But that's all I know, because I'm old. <laughs> We're going to space. This is the official space plan. It writes in space. The Russians wrote pencils in space. See, Jazz, Dach. Und guten guten Tag, mein Moonflower. This is so dumb. We are gonna test the limits of this Fisher space pen. We're gonna see what it can do. If it can write in space, it can write anywhere, right? Except under a hydraulic press, because that's that's so much jeepers. This pen is supposedly can write in space. I've never been to space. I don't know how many astronauts actually use this pen, but uh, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a look at it. Oh no, I've already broken it. All right. Ooh. Gosh dang. Okay. Fancy space. You probably saw the pen, and then I turned it this way, just so I could see it. I actually didn't know I was there. I just saw this. I was like, oh, cool. It's on the moon. Let's open. Let's open her up. I broke it. it. Frick, I legitimately broke it. <laughs> time for a time for a camera switch, I think. Transition! Got our pen thing and the moon. There we go. This is the broken case. This the little things broke off. Oh well. This is Fisher Space Pen himself. Uh See spacepen.com. That's him. In the, in the flesh. Paul C. Franklin's. Fisker. Ah, oh, okay. Fisker, Fisker. <clears throat> in December of 1945, Milton Reynolds, who had just... what we have accomplished, but now it is only the future that matters. So we are determined to continue to improve ourselves, our communities, and our pen, also our pens. Ha, guarantee, if you're not satisfied, if you are not satisfied with this Fisher space pen, return it directly to me for repair or replacement. See, Paul, I don't know if I can return it to you, because you might be dead. <laughs> when astronauts begun to, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I won't read that one. All right, space pen time, here we go. Write the schnazzles sh down. Watch this. <sighs> Whoa! Makes a long pen. Interessante. Interessante. It's a box. This actually writes really well. Jeepers. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Do all around the paper. Because we love our pens, the pen technique of the future came in 1953 when they invented pens for space. Space race tech is the tech of the future. Yeah. I like, I almost didn't spell like correct, I like it a lot. It's really good, actually. And you'd think it'd be too slick, but this texture actually makes it pretty, pretty hold, 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 holdable. All right, let's go, let's go out and see what it can do. Take the worst standard diffuser. Wow, wow, yowie, zowie. All right, as you can see, got my pen. We're gonna go outside and put it in the snow overnight. And we'll see, see how it does. <laughs> Let's go find some snow. Look, snow. Snow in our backyard. Now, as you can see, the best technique is to slap on your wife's sandals 
and come out into the snow. All right. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so hard too. I have to dig some out. Okay. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, can you see it? No. Okay, you can kind of see it. Okay. Let's bury it in the snow. Okay, we need a stick. Stick. That's where the space pin is. It's cold, cold, cold. Stick. Tell you what, that's a great technique. These shoes really hurt my feet. So I'm gonna take those off and I will resume tomorrow. Look at the camera when you're stalking. Not stalking, talking, whatever. All right. It's early and it's dark, but we're gonna check on the pen. We got proper shoes this time. <laughs> uh, where did it go? Right here? Oh, it's so cold. It's frozen so bad. Okay. All right. Let's see how this baby works. All right. Paper. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, some snow there. <laughs> well, that works. Let's see if the pen still works. Oh, the paper's so wet. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wet paper. Wet paper. Lord. I'm actually really surprised that that works because. If it was like a normal ballpoint pen, it would be probably completely frozen. But this works just as good as it did yesterday. That's impressive. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the span of the future. It's gonna be, take me to space. We're gonna go to space on a rocket ship because we're smart AF. Dang, it's awesome. Uh, next test. Uh, water. <laughs> All right. Well, I gotta check and see if this uh, uh, Fisher Space Pin works under water. So I'm gonna take a shower with it. Oh, it's cold. La 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 uh, basically, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna take this, see if this works. Alright. Well, oh my gosh, it works! The paper doesn't work. Holy cow. Oh no! It fell off. Let's put it back on. Alright. Uh, okay, uh, Hold this up, make it more uh, good. Paper does not work in the shower. But the Fisher Space Pen, oh no, it does. Look at that, oh, oh no. Well, uh, I mean, this works. I mean, what would you expect? Nothing less from the this 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 space pen. Come out of space. Woo! All right, so I got my GoPro. I'm gonna put it on the ground, and you're gonna see. What did it do? It did something weird. Okay, I'm gonna run it over with both tires. Getting on the car here. Let's see. This pen is like 100% intact. Let's see if I can write something down. Let's see how it goes. Pen still writes. 
Oh boy, it's like barely a scratch on it. Gosh, this pen is great. I ran over it once again, just so that I could see if anything else would happen. Yeah, there's a couple dents. But that's just from rocks, right? So still rats. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that that was a heck of a time. Uh, this pen is amazing, and it still works. And it's like, wow. It's so good. <laughs> I love it. There's a reason it's $25. And because it's $25, I only have one of them. So I'm not going to do any more tests right now. There'll probably be a part two once I secure myself another one. <laughs> but this has been awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to share. It really helps. Thanks. Uh, see you next time. Wow. <laughs>